Welcome to this product demonstration training video on how to terminate a CAT6A keystone jack onto a CAT6A shielded cable. When you get your connector, it'll be individually packaged and it'll have a complete bill of materials inside the bag. You're going to go ahead and pull the strip on the side, dump out your contents. You're going to have a basically a connector body with a load bar mounted inside of it. You're going to have a dust cap, piece of copper tape, and a cable tie. To terminate this particular product, the instruction sheet that comes in the package will show you to do a strip about 1.2 inches. Uh, we're actually going to do a strip of about 2 inches just out of personal preference. I like to have a little bit more to work with. So I'm going to use a standard cigar cutter stripper and use the minimum spin cycle to uh, strip the jacket. If you use the maximum, you might cut too deep and cut into your conductors. Pop off my jacket slug. I'm going to find the seam in the shield. There's, every one of these has a seam down the side. You want to find the seam and follow it all the way to the jacket and then go ahead and take a pair of diagonal cutters and nip it very carefully at the bottom. Remove the foil shield. Fold your drain wire back against the jacket. Now you're going to have a polyester binder. Any good Category 6A cable is going to have this binder in it. So you want to find the seam on this and do the same thing. Follow it down to the jacket, nip it, spin it off. Now we're going to go ahead and apply our copper tape. I'm going to go ahead and peel the copper tape off. You want to put the copper tape on, on the jacket, but you don't want to go actually beyond the jacket. Otherwise, you could cut the conductors here and cause a short. So I'm going to line the copper tape up as close to the jacket as possible. Apply it around. Drain wire, I'm going to cut off my excess. Next step here is I need to remove the separator before I start putting the connector on. So I'm going to pull all my pairs off to the side. I'm not going to untwist them, though. So I'm going to pull them all off to the side, bend them back. I want to cut this separator here. I call these individual legs here flutes right after machining, but I'm going to use the flush side of the diagonal cutters and go ahead and cut as close as I can, cutting in at a nice 45 degree angle downward. Do all four legs, and then I can just spin this right off. You don't want to have anything protruding past here, otherwise your connector might not seat correctly. Now I'm going to put my pairs back straight, and I'm going to take my connector, and on the connector itself, I'm going to go ahead and remove the load bar. You can see it's not really fastened too hard in there. I'm going to just lift that little black arrow a little bit. Kind of position this so I can get a grip on it. But I just lift that little black arrow and pop off the load bar. Now I'm going to slide the load bar with the arrow facing basically away over those twisted pairs. Slide it down. On the load bar itself, you'll see that the color code, two colors are constant, the white, brown, brown, and the white, blue, blue are constant, but the orange and the green switch depending on whether you're doing 568A or 568B. I'm going to be doing the B connectivity, so I want to line this thing up on these pairs that I already have pulled here in the right order. So I have blue here, I want to set my blue there. Brown here, I want to set my brown there. If you spin this around, you can line these up nicely where they fit like this. And now I'm going to do the other side too. I'm going to lay my pairs out. For 568B, I'm going to want the green on this side, the orange on that side. I'm going to switch these around. Now there's two possible ways of terminating this right now. And one is you can untwist the pairs all the way and line, line them up into the slots here and drop them down. Or a common practice used by technicians is to go ahead and just untwist a little bit of it. And this is where you grip the cable very firmly, kind of give it a couple spins and pull the pairs apart at the bottom while leaving the outer part still twisted. So I'm going to line this up on my conductor codes. So I need the blue and the white and the white blue and I have slots here that these go into so it just fits right down in there so there's those two done now I'll do the green same way just gripping the cable very firmly and you can actually grip it with a pair of pliers or something if you want to have a little bit more strength and just line these up in the right color code and you want to make sure your conductors are going in the slots on the load bar because if they're not in the slots then the connector is not going to close all the way so I'll make sure those pairs are in there I'm going to do that with the other pairs on this side And again, you can twist these, untwist these all the way if you want, but most people do a shortcut here and don't uh, actually untwist them all the way. Make sure your conductor goes into the actual s slots here. And 
And once you get the hang of this, this can go very quickly. You can do a termination in less than a minute. So once all your conductors are in the slots, everything's lined up on the color codes the way they're supposed to be, now I reassemble the connector with the arrows lined up. So I got the black arrows on this side, no black arrow on this side. I want to go ahead and make sure the black arrows are lined up. I'll line this up and I'll start the conductor by pushing this firmly together and that starts it. Then I'll take this tool and I'll go ahead and lay my connector in the tool and drop it down in the slot here. And once this is in the slot, I'll just hold the connector firmly downward with my finger and I'll squeeze and all my conductors are cut off and seated all in one operation. So this is all completely terminated now. So now I can go ahead and close the connector. A twist tie does come with the package. It is optional. You don't have to use this. This is already closed already and it's sealed and latched so it doesn't have to be used. But as an optional like extra bit of security, you can go ahead and put the twist tie on. So you want to start the twist tie on the cable and just line it up on the little slots on the back of the connector. Tighten it down by hand and then clip it off. And there's your terminated connector.